following the Queen's piper's performance during her state funeral last month. King Charles praised him, calling his appearance important and deeply moving. The Queen's piper, Major Paul Burns, performed the traditional lament, Sleep, Deary Sleep, as the congregation stood at the end of Her Majesty's funeral in London's Westminster Abbey on September 19th. Lieutenant General Nick Borton, a commander of the Allied Rapid Reaction Corps, Colonel of the Royal Regiment of Scotland and Colonel Commandant of the Army Air Corps, tweeted a letter they had received from the monarch thanking the Army for their role during the period of mourning, revealing the King's complimentary words for Paul. The letter read, To the Chief of the General Staff, I should be most grateful if you would convey my sincere thanks to all those from the army who took part in the events following the death of my beloved mother, the late Queen. The solemn and poignant ceremonial in Scotland and London, under the expert gaze of the garrison sergeant majors, was utterly impeccable, from the opening gun salutes to the processions for the state funeral. Her Majesty he continued. I should also like to commend those who were deployed in support of the civil authorities. The bearer parties, formed from the Royal Regiment of Scotland and the Grenadier Guards, who, with their immense dignity and devotion, were a great credit to their service, and the Queen's Piper, who played such an important and deeply moving role. I am conscious that for over 4,000 men and women of the army, who were involved, with some returning from Iraq, Canada and Cyprus to play their part. My heartfelt gratitude goes to each and every one of you. The new monarch finished the letter by signing Charles R. at the end. Paul has also been honoured with a special new role, according to The Sun. The musician will now be the official piper for the new monarch and carried out his first official performance on Tuesday in Balmoral at the King's residence, Burkhall House. The publication also reported that Paul will now travel with Charles to wherever he stays in the UK so that he is able to play outside his bedroom window at 9am every morning as he did for the late monarch. Paul of the Royal Regiment of Scotland became the Queen's Piper Major in 2021, taking over from Piper Major Richard Grisdale. Every morning at 9am, Paul would play for 15 minutes underneath her window at her residence. Whether she was at Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle, Holyrood House or Balmoral. Paul was the 17th Piper to Her Majesty, concluding his duties with a heartbreaking rendition of Sleep, Deary Sleep at Westminster Abbey during her funeral last month, before the monarch's coffin was lifted from the catafalac and moved through the Great West Door. The sound that has once awakened her up every day had now played her to eternal rest. Since her accession to the throne in 1952, the Queen has enjoyed the special custom. Queen Victoria established the role in 1843 after discovering that the Marquess of Breadalbane had her own piper. We have heard nothing but bagpipes since we have been in the beautiful Highlands and I have become so fond of it that I mean to have a piper who can, if you like it, pipe every night at Frogmore, she said in a letter to her mother regarding the position.